Here's some good news for the guys who've been trying to drive 13.5, 13.6 MHz crystal oscillators, the two pin types. And this circuit here is actually producing that wave there, which is showing 13.5 MHz. This is the circuit. And I was cruising around uh, just some websites looking at crystal oscillator circuits, and a guy called KF5OBS had posted his tester circuit. I'll put a link in the description to it. And it is very, very easy. Um, these are just the components needed uh, 0.1 UF capacitor, 100K, 1K resistor. This on my circuit, I've actually got a variable um, capacitor just in case any, any of them didn't tune up, but I haven't found that to be a problem yet. The transistor can be any NPN. And uh, there we are with the circuit on the board there. Um, for the eagle-eyed or the sad as me kind of people, you can see that that actually is shaped a lot like the circuit board, the edges, is shaped a lot like one of the larger CAN-type um, four-pin oscillators. But anyway, so that's it, very simple. And um, as I say, 13 and a half running at the moment. I'll, uh, well, let me see now. I'll pick another one, see if I can take this one out while it's running. So there we are, nothing on the display. Let's plug this one in. There we go. And there we are. It's a 10.1 megahertz crystal, and that's what it's running at with the same kind of clean wave shape. So I'm I'm just delighted about that because the other side being that I've got loads of these and I only had two of the other types. If you've got old junk boards at home, this sort of thing, uh, you might find a couple like there and there on it. I mean, 80s and 90s uh, old circuit boards are full of those two pin ones, but there aren't very many of the four pin ones. Anyway, I hope that circuit is of use, and it certainly makes a difference now for going forward with the Dr. Stifler experiments. Okay, thanks for watching.